Each week, we have the privilege of taking into the collective heart of this loving community those concerns we have that are too great. We do that through our joys and sorrows, and we also do it through our time of meditation and prayer when we create a space to hold things that sometimes might be particularly hard to hold alone, especially in this time of sheltering. So I invite you to join me in this time of meditation and prayer. Spirit of life, God of many names, mystery, whatever that is beyond ourselves that we may know only as the more, help us hold the complexity of this day. Help us hold the complexity of this time. We celebrate today with those who are grateful for the teachings and loving ministrations of their mothers. May we celebrate with them. And for those who are missing a mother today or missing the experience of mothering that they wished for but could not have, we are also witnessing to their emotions today. For those who know that they have been imperfect mothers, may we in our collective caring remind them that we are all imperfect and can choose how to act differently with each new moment that dawns. For those who know that they have been inattentive and resentful as children, may we also be witness to their confessions and their aspirations. For all of those who have strained or severed relationships within their own families of origin, may we celebrate together our right to choose and create new family. And for those who suffer particularly from gender exclusive tributes on this holiday, may we honor their parenting. Most of all, may the complications and complexities of these truths not be seen as a burden, but rather as one of the gifts of community that we can see something and still hold it in our own light of truth while also seeing the beams from others as well. May that same set of knowing, may that same awareness, may that same acknowledgement, that gift that we have be a strength to us in these times and days ahead when we will face many choices together and we will face many choices alone. And those we love and those we work with and those we are near and who are our neighbors physically may not make the same choices. May we hold those who are needing to work and wishing they could keep themselves and others safe while doing it. May we hold those who are teachers doing the best they can after the week in which we recognize them with particular gratitude this year. May we hold those who desperately feel as if their personal dignity is compromised by wearing a face mask or who hold ideas of what makes them strong. And may we also hold them in care that they may see another way. And may we hold those who are at risk for their physical well being and remember that we must also hold them in relationship and intention with our own longings, impatience, and anxieties. For the space to hold all of this together, we are this week as in every week, so deeply grateful. Amen. Amen. And blessed be.